my next question is that what are the future products of Tomaseto? Like, like you all also told that you are going to tell something about how Tomaseto will be, you know, going in next twenty years from now. So, one of the major uh, areas that we are focusing now is diesel area. Uh, if uh, you uh, Google something like diesel tractor and CNG, you will find out that uh, we became your company, Tomasato Akile India, became the first company in India to convert a diesel tractor to dedicatedly run on CNG. And not only conversion, the tractor achieved the same power as of a new vehicle, which is phenomenal. So what we are trying to demonstrate here is that even if there is a diesel in use vehicle in aftermarket, we can convert that vehicle to run on CNG and achieve the same power, which is there in diesel mode. What this means is that generally people who were before converting their vehicles on CNG had some notion in mind that there will be some compromise or less of power. There will be some heat generated in the vehicle and there will be some less performance. All this is a myth that I would like to reiterate and emphasize. And we have gone one step forward and established it with even a diesel vehicle, converting the engine, modifying the engine to spark ignition type and we are running that particular engine on CNG, which is already the first of its kind in India. And the first time in India that a diesel tractor, which is converted to CNG to run dedicatedly on CNG is running successfully. So our future plan is to also enter diesel field, wherein from smaller segment vehicles up to heavy vehicles, we want to make our presence felt and ensure that we also come out with flying colors as we are doing in cars and three wheelers for petrol have also diesel involved in our portfolio. Additionally, we are also distributing, uh, we will start distributing some components for LNG as well. So if the vehicles, uh, for example, some trucks and heavy vehicles for longer range if they want to convert them on LNG for 1,000, 2,000 kilometer range, then that also options are developing with us in order to offer our customers some of the products whereby they can have LNG tank, which ultimately will convert into CNG when it goes in the engine of the vehicle. So our future plans are uh, in addition to petrol and diesel also add uh, three wheelers also add heavy vehicles to run on diesel and ensure that we try and enter into the complete gamut of automobiles wherein we can promote this CNG in order to save the environment and definitely the customer is benefited in terms of saving 30 to 50 percent of the fuel cost. Yes, sir. So, tractors ko leke, uh, maine aapka... वो वीडियो भी देखा है जो सर नितिन गडकरी जी के साथ जो वीडियो था जो ट्रैक्टर लॉन्च हुआ है सीएनजी का तो ट्रैक्टर को लेके मेरा थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्ट भी है क्योंकि दिस नॉर्थ पार्ट इज द रूरल इज मोर डिपेंडेंट ऑन रूरल इकॉनमी एंड मैच्योर्ड मार्केट भी है ये ट्रैक्टर्स को लेके तो लोगों की एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी ट्रैक्टर को लेके यहां पे सबसे पहले ज्यादा होगी एज कंपेयर टू दूसरे जो इंडिया का दूसरा पार्ट है तो मैं मेरा जस्ट दो तीन क्वेश्चन मैं इकट्ठे आपसे पूछ लेता हूं वो ये है कि ट्रैक्टर्स को लेके इसके आईकैट के अप्रूवल के लिए क्या हमने अप्लाई कर दिया सर और मतलब कि एक आरसी पे एंडोर्स होने वाला ट्रैक्टर मतलब हमें कब तक मिल जाएगा और दूसरा क्वेश्चन मैं साथ ही पूछ लेता हूं क्या ये ड्यूल फ्यूल पे होगा मतलब डीजल प्लस सीएनजी और तीसरा जैसे कि आपने वैसे तो इसका आंसर दे दिया है कि पावर में कोई डिफरेंस नहीं आएगा क्योंकि यहां पे पावर में आपको फील्ड में पावर की ज्यादा जरूरत होती है और पावर का डेफिनेटली डिफरेंस रहेगा अगर पावर पे कोई फर्क नहीं आएगा देन इट विल बी अ गुड टेक इन द मार्केट आल्सो और अनदर क्वेश्चन इज कि वही क्या हमने इसको कभी कुछ टेस्ट करना शुरू किया है कि फील्ड में और हॉलेज में ट्रॉली में या अभी इट इज स्टिल under testing 
So Sharma ji, let me answer your question uh, point by point. First and foremost, uh, let me begin with saying that this tractor has been tested to achieve power with trolley, without trolley, with haulage, without haulage. This tractor uh, has uh, 12 gears. Just like our car, there are 4 gears or 5 gears. It's been 12 gears. It works at different speeds and different RPM at different torque. Yeah. And it is achieving sufficient enough or more power than what is being what it is being designed in diesel mode. That's the first thing. Second thing, this tractor uh, is approved and the certificate is already there. Third thing, this tractor also ensures that it is being uh, probably achieving the kind of power, which is what it was your question, then uh, what is it is expected to be. So as far as uh, approval is concerned, as far as trials are concerned, it is done for more than a year after which it was subjected to approval. All this is being done. And now we want to ensure that we do some trial projects in some territories in North, especially uh, in your areas where tractors are more. And then we will come up with a plan uh, to ensure that we efficiently cater to the farmers so that these tractors uh, get, the farmers get maximum benefit out of converting these tractors. It, it is a dual fuel or mono fuel? It's a mono fuel tractor. It is dedicatedly running on CNG. Fine. But, uh... Approval finally, uh, are we going to the state approvals also, like in Punjab and other places? Uh, this is under planning that when we should start marketing and approvals. So probably from the month of April, we will start marketing it. And we will also apply to state authorities for approvals. But since it is for the farmers, we will also request governments not to make tedious processes to go into government approvals again in the state approvals and try to benefit farmers as much as possible. So these are certain things that we are requesting to the governments saying that endorsement again by the state or RC book endorsement for the farmers, there should not be any cost to it so that it is beneficial more to the farmers who are actually our Annadatas. And uh, my last question is that are we doing some promotional campaign also uh, for promoting these sectors because there are different universities across India, like in, we have university, agricultural university in Ludhiana, then we have in Hisar and all other places where former, uh, former melas and all these things are happening. So this, uh, so many farmers used to visit those places. So that will give you a first hand, you know, feedback about the, about the, uh, the tractor. So are we, planning something on it or? So Sandeep ji, uh, we would start planning for all this and probably participate in these kind of functions and melas probably after three months or so. Once our plans are concrete as to how to move forward and how to start moving in this marketing area. So at this point in time, uh, there is evaluation of how to go forward, which is taking place. We are taking uh, probably guidance, advices, suggestions from many government authorities. We are take, collecting the data of what kind of tractors are present. As you know that every tractor has to be approved individually, singularly, unlike yeah. the car. So all this is being compiled. Mm -hmm. And once we have the right strategy based on compilation and approvals for uh, the diesel vehicles, then I think we would start marketing of these vehicles. But I think this is a point I think the government of India should consider that in the cars, it's like 25 percent plus and minus. So same thing can, can be done in tractors also, if, if, if it can be considered. I think. So uh, efforts are on in all the directions, which is what I can say at this point in time. And uh, let me reiterate that we want to ensure that we do our best in order to suit the needs of our customers and uh, actual users and farmers in that case. And we will leave no stone unturned to see the best 
available solution possible which is technically and commercially viable so that we can be in the market with the right model uh, now lastly uh, to end with this discussion aap kuch hamare jo existing customers hain ya jo future market ke customers hain anything you want to you know say if you want to say some words to them so my friends and uh, our tomasetto uh, i would say my friends of tomasetto and our uh, experts who are converting these vehicles in your area i would like to ensure you that the kits when you are using we have our app also so you can always verify that the genuine parts are being uh, installed in your vehicle uh, we have uh, a toll free number and we have our distributors in place whereby you can contact them we also have our network whereby with the app itself you can verify whether your product is genuine or not and we believe that our distributors and our retrofitters in our area are giving you the right kind of support which is required for you to run your vehicle efficiently and we are always open to ideas and suggestions which are given by our distributors and any other information which you want to share with us we, we have our email ids on our website you can always log in and you can always send us an email and your suggestions are very well welcome and we will take care and take note of all the suggestions that you have and implement it in the right possible way in the most efficient manner so as to help you and so as to create our own existing good brand into the best available for cng in india thank you sir thank you for taking out your precious time i'm again thanking you for giving your time to us thank you very much sir thank you for having me all the best